Beattyville here, sitting here with Jesse Wu, comedian and influencer. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, great. Great, happy to see you. Um, we're at Culture Vulture's uh, first event, Comedy Night. Um, and we'd just like to know a little bit more about you. How'd you get started in, in comedy? And um, how'd you get involved in this? And how's it working out for you? Um, well, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Jessie Wu. And um, I don't consider myself a comedian, which is funny because I'm telling joke tonight. <laughs> but I don't consider myself a comedian. I feel like, um, you know, you guys just are seeing me start out. Like, this right. is where I'm starting out. This is my second time uh, doing stand-up. Right. And, you know, because I, of my online presence and, you know, um, the thing, my position at BET, you know, um, just me putting myself out there, people want to hear me tell jokes more. Right. So, you know, this is actually me starting out. So, you know, one day when I'm getting my little Oscar and my, and my Golden Globes, right. you guys can rewind that and say, you know, Jessie was here at her second time ever performing. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. That's great. So what is the next step for Jessie? What is, what is Jessie's A lot of things are going on. Like A lot of things are going on. You know, I'm at BT. Um, I do BT breaks, but it looks like my role is definitely going to increase there. I shot a couple pilots with them. Congratulations Recently, on that. Yeah, I shot another talk show pilot in Miami two weeks ago, which that's where I was that's where I was raised. Mm -hmm. I was born in Montreal, but I was raised in Miami, so it felt really good to go back home. Okay. And you know, you guys might see me on a couple of reality shows soon. Nice. So it's a lot of stuff going on. And also I'm definitely continuing my comedy journey and um, I definitely plan on recording a comedy special soon that has been offered to me so but I just want to make sure I just keep doing it more and more and more get more comfortable with it I feel like you know you can't just call yourself a comedian just because you make a couple people laugh you know I feel like you have to put in the time right and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to put that time in right with not just comedy but with media you know like what and you're doing your yeah like you know with acting and all that I definitely just want to put my hours in before I can say yeah comedian I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. That's great to hear. Um, what I'd like to know also is, what's the best piece of advice that somebody gave you since you're just starting out? Like, somebody you maybe look up to, did, they, did anybody give you a piece of advice that you would like to pass on? Um, it wasn't a piece of advice, but it was years ago, I was at a women's conference, and, you know, the tagline or the theme of it was, um, we're all God's masterpiece. You know, in Ephesians, God tells us that we are his masterpiece. Right. And that's something that's always stuck with me, even when I felt like I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't shit. Like, I, you know, like I always go back to that and I feel like I'm his masterpiece. So wherever I go, I just carry myself that way. Even if I'm not feeling like it, I carry myself like I am a Van Gogh, you know, like I am a Mona Lisa. Because if I carry myself that way, other people will respect me and carry and, and, and treat me that way as well. Yeah, what you put out, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's been my pleasure. Thank you, girl. To you. Good luck Merci tonight. Merci à Bill. Aïe, Bill. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>